We're talking today to Paul Murphy, Chairman of Blackham Resources. Blackham has recently resolved a bitter dispute with its former Chairman, Mr Joseph Goodnick. Paul, thank you for joining us today. Tell me why you chose to join the company as Chairman during this time and provide us, if you can, some understanding of the terms and conditions of the resolution of the dispute with Mr Goodnick. Certainly, Tony, thank you for the question. Uh, with regard to uh, becoming Chairman, uh, very, very simple and, and straightforward. I wanted to ensure that the company had uh, increased management support and bandwidth uh, at the board level so that the company and the management team can focus on moving um, uh, Blackham Resources forward and into production. Uh, with regards uh, Mr Gutnick, as a result of uh, ongoing dialogue that we had uh, with Mr Gutnick through the process, we were fortunate to be able to negotiate an agreement. Uh, all elements of that agreement, as has been reported, uh, have been satisfied and we are now uh, looking forward to the next phase uh, in Blackham's uh, development uh, moving from here. So Paul, throughout this dispute, tell me about the support you've received from the shareholders of Blackham Resources. Uh, absolutely. Uh, as a result of the very first communication I circulated to shareholders on day one of the announcement of my being uh, appointed chairman, I was very, very impressed by some of the direct uh, contact that was made to me by existing shareholders indicating to myself that they were fully behind me, that they supported my uh, actions and activities and they were very pleased to see my involvement in the company. The market's very keen to know how soon it'll be before you can bring the Matilda Gold project into production. The financial model and the, uh, the plan that we have built extends over a period of 15 to 16 months uh, from the moment uh, in which we get in place uh, the appropriate level of funding. The key elements uh, to uh, that uh, plan are initially uh, the completion of the pre-feasibility study which will, would take three months, the subsequent completion of the definitive feasibility or in other people's language banking feasibility study that will take six months. Con uh, in conjunction with that towards the back end of that, uh, that particular uh, DFS timeline, the recommissioning uh, of the plant uh, would commence uh, and that uh, recommissioning would take an additional uh, six months in total. So if you add those uh, three essential milestones uh, up, that amounts to the 15 to perhaps uh, slipping to, uh, to 17 month time frame in which uh, I'm talking about, by which point we would be in, uh, in production. One of the major points of difference that Blackham Resources has is that the Willuna Gold plant is already in existence. Uh, you already have a significant amount of infrastructure to support the recommencement of uh, production at Willuna. Uh, tell me a little bit more about that decision to acquire the Willuna Gold plant uh, back in April. Absolutely. Um, I think uh, observers uh, perhaps don't appreciate the significance of the transaction that was completed in April of this year with the acquisition of the, uh, of the Waluna uh, plant and infrastructure. As a result of that acquisition, we are uniquely placed in the, uh, in the market with regards to our peers, as we do not require and will not require the 100 or $150 million that would normally be required to build such a facility. So Paul, in addition to the Matilda Gold project, Blackham have a number of regional satellite ore bodies which it intends to develop and supply additional feedstock to the Willuna Gold plant. That is uh, correct, Tony. None of our, uh, of our uh, mine sites are more than 26 kilometres away from the uh, Willuna processing and infrastructure uh, facility. It's very important to understand, given the 700 square kilometres uh, that we hold with regard, uh, regard tenement. We're very fortunate because the relative proximity of those, in some instances, already established uh, open pits uh, adds to the, uh, the efficiency and the relatively low cost base of getting the, uh, the ore uh, into the mill uh, and gold being produced uh, on the other side. And finally, Paul, as a major shareholder of the company, as the company's new chairman, what do you see as being the major attraction for potential and existing investors in Blackham Resources? Very, very simple uh, answer, Tony. 
Uh, it's all about the growth opportunity. It's all about uh, being involved in a company that's going to go from its current market cap to potentially uh, become a very, very significant market capitalised uh, company within the Australian gold sector. And what I'm talking about there is uh, a company that ultimately has the potential to be multiple multiples uh, of its current uh, market capitalisation going forward. We've got a strong project, we've got an enormous resource, addressing uh, additional drilling is required to build upon that resource. We've got a very, very strong management team. We've uh, fortunately already got in place absolutely all of the infrastructure that's required to be a fully operational uh, gold mine. Puts us in a unique position within the Australian market and I think the times ahead very, very exciting for not only for Blackham, the company itself, but I think very, very importantly for any of the current and potential shareholders that are going to get involved in us moving forward. And importantly for the financiers, they can, uh, they can take comfort in the fact that they're uh, investing and supporting a, a project uh, which has been substantially de-risked uh, from, uh, from their perspective. So exciting times ahead, I think, Tony. Paul Murphy, Chairman of Black & Resources, thank you very much for your time today. Tony, thank you for your time today and I look forward to uh, more in the future. Thank you.